Well, welcome back to GIS analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, we're going to generate points along lines. And we'll look at these geoprocessing tools, Densify, a tool to create uniform points along lines, a tool to create random points along lines, and then how to snap points to lines. So let's use the Create Fishnet geoprocessing tool to create a test line. And what we'll do is we'll use this dialog to define our square as from 0, 0 to 10, 10. So I enter values 0 on the left, 0 on the bottom, 10 on top, and 10 on right. And then the tool fills in the appropriate values for our coordinates. And then we want our cell size to be 10 and 10. And then we want to create a line. And we don't really need points at this point. So then we'll create our square. So let's just work with one line. And the top line has an object ID of 2. So let's do a definition query on our layer to just work with that top line. So if we right mouse click properties, we can do our definition query. And we'll name this line. So now we have our one line. So if we zoom to layer, here's our one line. So how many vertices is the line composed of? We can use the geoprocessing tool feature vertices to extract all the points the line is composed of. So we use the tool feature vertices to points. So extract all the points the line is composed of and output those points to a new feature class called line points. So this line is composed of two points. Sometimes you want a higher density of vertices in a line. So for example, you might have a line that represents longitude and latitude, and you're going to project that line into some planar coordinate system. So you would want a very dense amount of vertices for that line. So let's say we want every two units of vertex on this line. We can use the Densify tool to add vertices to an existing line or line. So with the Densify tool, we can use a distance, and that's the maximum distance between vertices. So that will add vertices, and the maximum distance between any two vertices will be 2. So then we could run our feature vertices to points to see the new vertices that the line is composed of. So this time I'll call it points 2. So the new line is composed of more than two vertices now. And you would think intuitively the distance between points is 2 because we specify that as a spacing, but it's not. So if we use the measure tool, the distance is really 1.667. So what happened was we said we wanted a maximum. So the length of our line was 10, and we want a maximum of 2. So 10 divided by 5 would give us 2. So basically what happens is we get 5 vertices added to the existing line, what already had this n vertex and this n vertex. So that's why the distance is not necessarily what we specified. It's going to be less than that maximum distance we specify. Now let's say we want to sample along this line and put points every distance of 2 along the line. To do that, we can use another geoprocessing tool, generate points along lines. And here we would specify the distance between our points. So our distance will be 2, and the input the points will be on top of will be our line. And let's include endpoints. So the output are uniformly spaced points, and we could use the measure tool, what's the distance between these points? 
and they are a distance of two. So if I snap and snap, it's ex exactly two between every point. We can also allocate points randomly located on a line by using the Create Random Points geoprocessing tool. And what we would do is say, constrain our feature. We want our points on our line. And then as the user, we would specify how many points we want randomly distributed on the line. So I'll say five points randomly distributed on the line. So then we have five points randomly distributed along our line. Let's create some random points that are not exactly on the line. So we know our lines going from 0 in the x, 10 in the y, to 10 in the x, 10 in the y. So let's adjust our extent for our random points so they are not exactly on the line. So we'll make the extent from the same extent as our line, 0 to 10 from left to right. But the bottom will make 9.9, .9 and the top will make 10.1. And let's generate three random points. So then the question is, are any of these random points exactly on the line? So we could use select by location to check. So for our points layer that we think are off the line, do they intersect with our line? And if they do, select them. So then apply, and none are selected. So all our points are off the line. Our points might represent fish locations that should be exactly in the same location as a streamline, or they could be culvert points that should be exactly at the same location as road lines. We can use the snap tool to snap or move the points so they are on our line. So let's select the points that we want to snap to the line, and then we could use the snap tool. So we're going to snap our selected points to our line, and the type will be the edge of the line, so anywhere on the line, even in between vertices, and then our threshold distance for snapping. Let's give a threshold distance of one, for example. So then the result would be all our points are snapped to the line. And we could double check, so zoom to layer, and then select by location, select all the points that intersect with the line.